I, I lost my point. Fuck you. So no, no, okay, <laughs> yes. okay. So Azumi Khan is just like, uh, yes. we say we say Oklahoma anime convention sounds weird, but don't you think like people in San Diego? Because like, or not San Diego? Yeah, San Diego. Because like, I feel like there isn't a whole. Lot, I don't want to say there's not a whole lot to do in San Diego. There's but probably, like, here's like, the thing: it's California. Stuff. There's a lot of stuff in California. But then when you think of Oklahoma, you can get shot. I mean, like, like oh yeah, there's like a huge like like comic convention in california then you're like i can see that because it's california yeah but like at the same time it's just like i mean when you think of california or san diego you don't direct you don't instantly think comics or yeah like, like if, i if, think like okay if you lived in robbed if there's you that lived, think about, think <laughs> no, about like, of la if you've never had like a comic book convention it can it, happen anywhere it, like comic con is probably the first comic book convention you, it's, you can think of yeah you can think of and it's it like, probably might not be the first one there's a lot of no, but it's it's definitely the first one that caught on. Okay, yeah. But like, um, so like when you think of that, it's like if you lived in California and there hadn't been one of those before, and it's like there's gonna be this uh, new thing called Comic Con, like, you know, people. I I guess see that like uh, when did Comic Con start? Con? When did Comic Con start? Oh, uh, probably in the eighties. Okay, if, I, I just imagine like okay, have you ever seen those old footage of all those like? Just put the data. Put the year on. on sure, the screen right there it is. But um, have you ever seen like yes, all that old footage from like face. um? Electronics expos from like the seventies, where like, where the, maybe they unveiled like the Apple One. Yeah, you know, um, the Apple. I always imagine footage of that, but it's like a bunch of dudes and glasses and shit, and like there's just some booth set up with like um, comics and like old film reels. I think the first Comic Con was like pretty like low. You know, well, it must have been. Well, yeah, like it hadn't had funding. Like, well, actually, now that it. I think about it, was Comic Con like a thing that like. Someone started locally and then it grew, or was it like a thing funded by a company? I think Comic Con was something that like was local and then grew. What? But it's by Wizard, isn't it? Is it by Wizard? I think it is. Or funded by Wizard? I'm not sure. Because if it was funded by Wizard, then it was probably was like a bigger than just like a small thing that grew. I mean, it definitely grew, but it wasn't as small as I think it would be. I, if it's funded by Wizard, and we say okay, Wizard is uh, Wizards of the Coast. And, um, right? Yeah. And right. They, they're basically the famous people behind, yeah, people behind famous card games such as Pokemans. Magic? Uh, Magic the Gathering, and used to be Yu-Gi-Oh, although Yu-Gi-Oh got switched to Konami. At a certain point, it was it? It was? Wizards? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no, no. It, it's, it was always Konami, and uh, Wizards was with them too. Like, Wizards and Konami were partnered to do it, and then, like, Wizards dropped it. It might still be released, like, Wizard might still release stuff. But I know that it's Yu-Gi-Oh has kind of become its own independent thing, and I'm not sure about Pokemon. But I know definitely Magic is Wizard's thing. Um, I think Wizard also did like Hero Clicks. Yeah, they do. They do Hero Clicks, which Hero Clicks is weird. I tried playing it in sixth grade. I'm like, like I I, I remember the way <laughs> the way I introduced this. I used to go to a flip. I want to go back to my point that I was gonna make, and then do a point that I originally started with. After this, after we're done with this, but um, yeah, but um. And like fourth, fifth, like the way I started getting into collecting Star Wars toys was I would go to like this flea market and like I would just like, I, I, I would always go there like every, every once in a while we'd go there and I would just never kind of like explore. I'd just walk around with my parents and then one day I got, I got like kind of separated and I'm like, oh, I just kind of feel like walking around and there was this one that had like this sign that said like, um, <coughs> smoke and toy shop. Smoke and toy shop. That sounds really. And I, and I was walking by it, and then like they had the glass cabinets, and it was like hookahs and like pipes, you know, for like tobacco. Oh, this is like um, the ghetto. Yes, <laughs> the ghetto. Um, that you uh, Paris, uh, Paris. No, not Paris. Oh, I do like oh, Paris, Paris though. I went oh, there Paris, recently, yeah. like in like the first time in like eight Wait, years. Wait, 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 wait. Paris, Texas. Is that what Paris you're flea about? market? Paris flea market. Okay. Which I, the last time I was there was when I was like eight, and I went there like a last month, and I'm like. Has it's a, a flea market, but it's like it has a, a lot of cool okay. Stuff. When you walk into the front doors, the first thing you see is the big ass knife shop. Yes, flea the market. The big ass knife shop, and you can keep going. There's an airsoft store. I like flea and markets. Okay, the back okay. room. Flea markets are okay. I'm not gonna say there are some guns there, but flea markets are weapons trading shows without guns, mostly. If you want to find a glaive. Go to a flea market. <laughs> yeah. Basically. There's like, there's like, you might go to a crappy flea market. There's a lot of flea markets where you're like, eh. I found a flamethrower in open. And then, you'll, and then you'll, find and you'll find that flea So market. like, on a previous, uh. <laughs> hey, fine, that flea market. On a, on a, on a previous <laughs> podcast, um, t I almost called him Kayla for some reason. Kayla? Ty Tyler over here brought up a good, Calm good down. mythical morning, which is, uh, <laughs> it's a podcast that I had watched a few times and I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. I didn't. I never really got into it. I watched a few episodes recently again, and uh, 
I mean, I like it. It's still it's still not my favorite because it's only like a twelve minute thing, and like it's kind of cool to just listen to some of the cool topics. But it's less of like I can't say it's less of a podcast, but it's less of the type of podcast I listen to, it's which like, are like it's, it's normal like a vlog. It sort of a vlog and a podcast, like baby. I mean, like in a vlog, you more like talk about your life because that's a video <clears throat> that's the, vlog. That's basically what they do. They take they take they take a vlog and then a podcast, basically and just smash it into like. But then that just be a long in vlog? like the middle. <laughs> it's like in the well, middle. I know the Pop Culture Network like they have a podcast, and then like at a certain point they got around to filming their podcast, and then you could watch the podcast or you could listen to the podcast. Yeah, so like, I mean that's not really relevant I, at all. Anyway, so I started listening to them and like you saying Glaive reminded me, I watched like. Ten craziest things found in air by airport security. I thought oh, yeah. you were gonna Trump say like I watched Trump troll, and there was fish. like there was like some guy like the the number one thing I think it was was like two hundred fifty six tropical fish, like yeah. seventeen ball pythons or something like that, and a monk or two monkeys, what one wrapped around each leg, like living monkeys, like wow. not wrapped around, but like they were hanging on to his legs, and um like he tried to get that past airport security, but one of the things they found. They called it the Wheel of Death, or Wheel of Pain, and it's basically like this glaive. Look, look it up and put a picture up. It, it's like a glaive-looking thing, but it has like six blades, and they pop out in like pairs. I want to call it six blades. It's more, uh, gl- uh, basically what you're talking about is it's a pocket knife, but has like multiple edges to it. Like, like uh, a throwing yeah. star, but with, it's a throwing knife, and if a throwing star had a baby with a throwing knife, that's what you got. It's not even a th- Okay. You, you get what I'm saying, right? Uh, uh... It's kind uh, of like shit. that. Okay. <laughs> You're getting it right. Six, uh, six, uh, six inch spring assisted blade. Although they're not spring assisted. No. They might be. I don't know. No, no. Some of them are, are switch blades. So that's. But like uh, think of six inch spring assisted blades mixed with a throwing star. And that's the wheel of pain. What the fuck? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Like you, the if the picture's still up on the screen. You can see just, like, what it is. It's pretty bad. But, like, somebody tried to get that past airport security. Somebody tried to get a harpoon past airport security, and his I claim was, I didn't know you couldn't bring harpoons on the airplane. Did you know somebody... Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of people just... Like, if you read a bunch of, like, weird stories, like, all the time, like, I'm oh, sorry, there, sir. Captain. I, I didn't, no, know, like, I didn't okay. know you could do that. Like, I mean, it's, like, legitimately, like, a lot of people are like, I didn't know. Like... Some people At a like, certain uh, point, you have to assume that you can't bring a rifle into an airport. Okay, yeah, that. It's, it's an air-compressed... Whatever. Rifle. A harpoon. A harpoon. Actually, See, that's, the, that's the old they, ones. They have, it's like a big rope. They have, rubber band. They have uh, like, in an airport, they have weapons check. Like, you can check in bags with weapons, but they go to a separate checking, and that's why... And you have to have licenses, don't you? Yeah, you do. And, like, uh, that, that's why, like... Is there any other dog? Sorry. Sorry. Uh, okay. Where so that's off? that's why a lot of like um cut that song out. That's why a lot of um like people who carry around expensive equipment will just pop a handgun in there so that they can get special like Gavin with his phantom camera. Yeah. Well, they don't I don't think they do that with it though. Cuz like what is it? He talked about that referring to his bag. He said that that's something that they do. That people do. That people do, but he doesn't yeah. himself do. But yeah, but like, they just like pop a handgun in there, and it's like, well, we now have we have a weapon. Secure. We have a weapon. You need to check our bag separate in a special case. So it it gets like, it gets extra security on it, and it's like also in a better place, stored in a better place, and like um, so, uh, there on my glasses. Thank you. <laughs> I was, just, I was just like, I was like, what the fuck? So, Sink. so yeah, there are a lot of like ways that stuff you can... just stands out to me. Like it's at the random times. I don't know. There, if you get a permit, you can basically uh, fly any. I don't want to say anything because it, you can't fly anything. You can't just fly anything. Things that are moderately. I want a like, tiger, and I went on this plane. Like now. things that you would figure <laughs> like. Okay. Appropriate. <laughs> you, I know, not gonna take like an RPG. I know you can like fly. A, how, <laughs> I know you can fly house pets, although that's extremely, like, inhumane. Like, people don't fly house pets anymore because it's kind of not safe and... It'll actually, like, blow their eardrums out. It can, yeah. Like, um, but... Or smash their eyes out of their sockets. <laughs> so, like... Sometimes they just drop some, them. Sometimes people, still, sometimes people still do ship house pets by plane. Usually 
only when they're moving though. Like it's not like bring a bring it on a trip. But like um <laughs> We're going to Hawaii. <laughs> but like you can basically get any I don't want to say any weapon, but like a good amount of weapons. Like non explosive You can get guns. You can actually bring an R piercing rounds onto uh planes. Yeah, but without like without the gun. Yeah. And you can't. You can bring any kind of ammo type. You can bring a freaking like. Okay, you can't. You can't. No, like, you can't. No, disassembled. Like I mean, like not working at all. I feel like, like they, they, would, they you could, goes through check. You I can, feel like, you'd be at, at the airport for a while. You would be for for yeah, to for bring an inert, like to bring an inert grenade on an airplane. They would have to like. They would have to take it apart and all that shit. No, 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 no. They wouldn't have to take it apart necessarily, but they it would go through like the checks that they go through to test if a bomb is inert. And then like like a freaking Panzerfaust round. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, big old missiles. Just so like, just wants to get to a point where we say like, no, you can't bring that. Yeah, like you, you, <laughs> like I don't know, like like uh, like handgun bullets. Well. Either way, like some gun, <laughs> shotgun the thing shells. Is, the thing about it, the thing about it is, you can't bring any weapon a bomb. on your body. On your, <laughs> you can't bring bomb. anything. You can't bring any type of weapon on your person. They have to be checked in, like in put under the plane. Dude, okay. Do you ever think like they've they've actually shipped like sea animals like underneath like the in the cargo from like if you were like a like a what's it called? Well, how do you a think killer gets... squid or something like that? No, they like on a commercial airline. No, yes. no. no, no, no. They tend wouldn't that be crazy? You're like, okay, well, we're gonna go down. Snakes on a plane, yo. They tend to do <laughs> that whenever they do um <laughs> animal shipping. It tends mother. to be by boat because it's like not safer, but it's better for them. Like, it's, um, like, and then if they do do it by, like, air, it's usually, like, you're not just going to get, like, a, like, a just regular Commercial plane. airline. <laughs> it's going to be, like, specialized for shipping. Like a cargo thing. Cargo bob. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, yeah. Back to flea markets. <laughs> so, like. What is that noise? Oh, it's just probably the house settling. Faggot. Cut that bar out. <laughs> I'm not homophobic. Okay, so, like, I'm okay. Tip, I, I'm, if, okay, so. if, if Bigfoot falls to the zone, you know, Tyler, it would be kind of weird. <laughs> yes, it would be kind of weird. Okay. <laughs> Cut all the parts out from him asking to now. So, the flea market. <laughs> okay, the flea market. So, all the weapons? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, flea market. Tyler's having an epileptic seizure over there. Okay, so, um. <laughs> okay, so, uh. I used to go to, like, this, um. Flea market. Yeah. Huh. All right, weird. so we figured out what we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, we were talking about West or uh, okay, Wizard. I'm sorry, I have to cut you off real quick. I like how every time we stop and then come back, we immediately start with a loud noise. That's just, hey, it's the t <laughs> we're just used to that. Okay, so Wizards of the Coast, they own here. They uh, they do the hero clicks. Yeah. And I said I started playing those in sixth grade. This is kind of how how I uh started that off. Okay. Because like, I said I was starting playing them in 6th grade. So, like I said, the way I started first collecting Star Wars was there was this, like, booth at a, at a flea market called the Smoke and Toy Shop. <laughs> which is the bizarre yeah, mixture. Yeah, so, I play with your toys. as I was walking next to it, there was a glass case and it... He, yeah, he's not... <laughs> there was, like, <laughs> there was hookahs and pipes no, and, like, and, like stuff for like, for, like, tobacco. And then I would turn and on this side of the glass case there was, like, knives and stuff like that. And then on the inside of the place... It was a wall of Star Wars toys. Oh. Why these two things? I don't know. <laughs> it's like Chuck E. Cheese. But I would buy and I'm like, and, whoa, know, that's cool. So then, like, I bought one and I would buy another. Like, it was this was around the time that uh, Revenge of the Sith was out. 2005. 2006. 2005. Five? We've had this discussion on the podcast before. I was proven. Oh, okay. 2005. So this was around this time. So I bought like a General Grievous. And Obi Wan from the General. Okay, General Grievous is one of my favorite characters. General Grievous is pretty cool. He's awesome. So I got those, and it was cool. And I would come back, and I would try to buy more of like the Revenge of the Sith lines. But then I would find stuff from the other movies, and I found out they're from older lines. And then from that, that's when I just started getting whatever. Um, oh, and we also had they had this little box um, of these little. They were the hero clicks, and what they are, they're like little miniature sculptures of like superheroes. Can I be honest? Like. I've seen a lot of minifigs done really well. Hero clicks is pretty sloppy. No, they are. Like paint, paint tends to be like a skew from where it should be. Yeah, you're you're, you're talking about 
Something that's sold like in a four it's like, pack. Okay, it's mass made tiny figures that can't be good. They like, can't be like yeah. The point is like you know who it is. Yeah. And it's just like a little game piece. So I saw those and I'm like, oh, those are pretty that. cool. So the first one that I bought was a Wolverine, and I think I think you could buy two like each one was fifty cents, or two for seventy five. Yeah. So I would I, I kind of bought one of those and I I wouldn't like I didn't get into collecting those for here oh, for Hero Clicks that's a really good price yeah Hero Clicks at least expensive. in the in the mystery bag they're like five dollars yeah which is and ridiculous. then whenever they're out of it it's at least like a dollar or two yeah it's ridiculous so I would like and but these were like he had some in the glass case which were more because that's how people do yeah and so I would just like pick out like like I was I would be digging it's like oh here's um <clears throat> Red Hulk oh here's Venom here's whatever. And I just pick out the ones I would like, and eventually I just kind of started getting into like. Was there a Great Hulk? Let her in. There was a Great Hulk, yeah. Okay. So, so I would just like start buying those, and like I guess at a certain point in sixth grade, um, which is when I started going to more schools. Yeah. Um, where'd you go to before? Huh? Where'd you go to before? Okay, okay, C schools. Okay. So, um, which I went back to my old elementary school, like where my sisters go to now. It is really nice. Yeah. Like, they redid the whole... Th- There's a huge library in that school now. It's ginormous. Anyway. Um, so, I would get those. And then, uh, I made a friend called... Um, I guess I, I'll just say his name. Garrett. <laughs> um, which you don't remember him. Because... Uh, this is the thing. Um, my three, my two best friends at, at sixth grade, like, the two first friends I made, were um, Garrett, who uh, I don't really speak to anymore, because I just... He kind of disappeared. Um, and... Uh, that sounds a fr- really I'm like still friends with him up. now. Uh, Bryce. Hmm. And, and it was like we were it was funny like it was a weird revelation we were um we were inside during recess getting a drink from the water fountain and uh, i guess i'll just call him mr c and that's what we call him yeah um he, yeah he walked by and he's like oh all the new kids like hanging out and then we all like wait you're new this year and we're like yeah so then we all realized we were all the three new students we're like that's bizarre so so uh me and garrett started like talking about stuff we realized we both liked star wars and we both liked just nerdy stuff yeah, go ahead. And uh, I told him about Hero Clicks. Like, I showed him some of them. And he got, like, really into them. Like, he would go to, like, Vintage Stock and buy a bunch of them. And he's like, he taught me how to play. And I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> I just right? said, fuck it. <clears throat> Hero I, Clicks. I'd rather have just, like, a little <clears throat> figure figurine of my favorite superheroes just to have on my desk. Yeah. Which dude. I still have those. Like, oh, I, I like oh my those. gosh. I have, I still have a Hulk. Because the Hulk one is the only one I know for sure I didn't lose or break. Because it is a solid chunk of yeah, I was gonna say Hulk. Hulk. I think is probably the only character you could make pretty well because it's it is just a solid chunk of his plastic. face is kind of fucked up, but <laughs> yeah, that's probably I was gonna say that's probably the only because like because like yeah. other than that, it's like basically just paint it green, paint the pants purple, and maybe like some like watered down black to foreshadowing or whatever. Yeah, and then like other than that, the face can be fucked up. Whatever. Yeah, you're probably not gonna see the face because of the weird lighting that. People tend to have in their rooms anyway, like yellowish. Yeah, and you won't. Yeah. Okay, like the and coolest just, thing. The coolest thing I've ever. Had, so that was my like point with the flea markets. Like figurines, you know the iron, like the uh, the specialty ones. Yeah, those. Like the, like I have the a couple iron, of Star Wars like ones. Iron like they're like. I used, to, like I used to have an and, iron venom. Yeah, I have a couple and of those. I, I have a Darth like my Vader. Favorite thing in the world. I'm assuming Lucas has one. Sorry, just keep talking. Okay, so I'm assuming Lucas has one. No, just keep talking. Like I have some, of the, I have like a I iron. I buy that for you. I have like, a, I have like an iron Darth Vader uh-huh. that I bought or not bought. I was given to like on like on. Dude, like, we need to go freaking an old pairs together because because me and you can find like. The Guys, okay, things. here's um, come come in close. Uh, yeah. Um, this is the Tyler and Jamie moment. Um, oh, yeah. of the show. Um, we really should go to Old Paris Flea Market because I feel I went back. Okay. I went there once and like there's this really cool movie store. Oh, are you talking about um the, like the place is like three dollars per movie? Like, yeah. Movie. yeah. And that's like pretty nice. Uh, are you into, like, figurines, if they're not even referential, if they're just, like, cool little yeah. figures? Yeah. Check these out. Yeah, dude, I like them. I he's had them. these, he's been trying to get rid of these since October. These? Yeah. November, actually. Uh, since Izumicon. Yes. But, uh, what I, what I brought him are oh, these... Oh, these are basically little chests? Oh, Helder- like Helderado is fascinating. Lights. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, these are basically... Little, These are old schools. They're basically just like miniature figures made of metal that you would paint yourself and then use them in like these role-playing board games type things. Emphasis on board. Yeah. <laughs> board. Well, I like board games, but... The, uh, you know. Did Basically. I tell you about my idea for a channel? Board games? For board games? No. no? Well, basically, like, I would only do this if I ever got established as like a gaming channel, which I might still try a gaming channel someday. But like, um... 
I was gonna make because like me and my friend Luis and Damien, we play board games like mm, not a whole lot anymore, but we used to play a lot more. We still play sometimes. It's pretty well made. Yeah, they they're really well made, but I just have no use for them because I don't play. But like um, <clears throat> so I was gonna make a channel called Board of Gaming, and like spell board, you know, B O A R D. Cause and, clever. And then um, like basically say like like you know we. Lately, we've been playing a lot of games, and we've just been bored of gaming. And so let's... Uh, oh, so you're doing board games. Board games. Hi, board games. I'm James, Aside. Aside. and I'm bored. And when Born James is bored, he plays some board games. <laughs> Shut up. You've never, you've never seen board games? No. Really? This, what, really. What, what you've never seen board games? No, I just Okay, then I think your idea is already... Like, your, your like theme is already kind of spent uh, by the AVGN. So. I don't know. <laughs> Hi. I'm James, and I'm bored. And when bored James is bored, he plays some board games. I'll, I'll just ch- I'll check that out and see if it's like <laughs> what I'm talking about. But I'll yeah. call Alex and tell him to cancel the copyright. <laughs> spend a lot of money, and now it's just. <laughs> but but that that doesn't matter. No, so, I'm kidding. So like um, basically cool. we would just play. Look, they have hats. They do have hats. Weird. Yep. Look, this is like a hat, and this is like a weapon. This is a of some spear, sort. or did this break off of someone? No, that like pins into someone. Oh, right. like you see how clean that break is? Like, hold on, that could oh, be this guy's like hand. This. Hold on, wait, wait, see. could this work? Yeah, this could work right here. It might be. I'm not sure though. Oh, is that two hands? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. See, do I love oh, let me this see this. night guy though? Let me see this. This might. Okay, have now I'm kind of fascinated. This, this might have broken off actually. Oh. Oh no no no! These are things that you glue on, but you're supposed to like. Paint this separate. That way you don't, like, mess it up before you glue it on. Yeah. Uh, in the 40-year-old virgin, there's a scene where he's painting them, and he has, like, a lamp specifically right on his hand and, like, a magnifying glass. Yeah. Where he can, like, look right into it. So it takes patience to paint these things. Oh, yeah. These things are tiny. I'm going to see if we and can... And they're really well detailed. These are, yeah. These are the type of things that I could get way into if I had, like... Ref- are, are these all, like, Japanese? Like, if I had... Re- figurines? Um... Mm-hmm. I think for Hell Dorado mostly, but um, also if you guys know what Hell Dorado is, um, tell us because we just didn't. We just haven't Googled it. Yeah, there's oh, a lot so of things that, now so that, that like. So that's what the finished product. Would look well, that, that's like professional. <laughs> that's like professional, professional done painters that did that the way they wanted to. Like you can do it however you want. Like you can make. There's like a dragon the, head. This troll looking thing. I found a dragon head. Oh, the whole dragon's in here somewhere. Wait, what? Oh yeah, these are the wings right here. Oh, so you would break them off of the platform? Uh, yeah. Wait, those aren't the wings. Those are fans. Oh, these are fans. Where's the rest of the dragon? This is like a witch hand. Oh, here's here's a part of the dragon. Yeah. Or here's some. T- I guess you do break these off. Yeah. Would you break them off? I mean, you know, you would. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because like, how would you? How else would you put the accessories on? Good point. So um. Oh yeah, all these stuff you just break off. These look. Yeah. See, this is like two different style tails. Like you can make it the way you want. It's weird. Oh, and here's fire for rockets. Sure. Because it's not for a dragon, because it's coming out of a little platform. Sure. So, like, I don't know. These are cool, Cloud but if I just swords. had... And I feel like half of this is random. Because, like, a lot of these things just don't go together. Like, when you really look at these, these tail pieces, they just don't fit together. Like, they're not supposed to be together. And you can tell. They're just randomly put in? Yeah. And, um, like, I can't find the other bits of the dragon... It's 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 just weird. Like I don't know. They're cool though. And uh so yeah, I was thinking about making a board game channel called Board of Gaming and like uh me and like Luis and Damien would start off by playing some stuff and then we play like I know that we'd have to establish at least some form of fan base before I started this and then some form of fan base on that channel specifically before I started playing Monopoly. I feel like that's the type of that's Shut up and listen. Before I started playing Monopoly, because that's one of the end game go- uh, not end game. That's one of the in mid, you know, mid lifespan of channel type things that I would do is play Monopoly, because that is a fun game to me. And I feel like the type of like idea you're going for. Ever, you start off with like board games or whatever, and like pl- either play like some of these or just a board game like Monopoly. And at a certain point, you're like. So, today we went to Walmart, and we found this, and we thought it looked interesting. So, we're going to play dog whatever. Which, I mean, we do that sometimes. Like, uh, well, okay. So, recently I played this game. I don't know if you've ever heard it. It's called Pit. Pit? Yeah, it's called Pit. Um, keep these separate. Like, they're not part of the same sets, by the way. I'll probably just keep it on. It's called, it's called Pit, and it's basically like, I really like this figure. 
I like. You know which ones I like? I like it's like a little one. dog. I really do I like, like this uh, one. the knight. Yeah. You know, I like. I like. These, I like this guy. Like this guy oh, and uh, where's the little hat? And the hat. <laughs> this guy and the hat match. With the hat, yeah. Like, 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 like this guy's cool. Like, whatever. It kind of looks like an old woman. We'll try to put up pictures of all these. But then when you like, if you put a oh hat, gosh, like, 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 a, oh my gosh, that's Bigfoot. Oh my gosh, that is Bigfoot. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that the, is Bigfoot. These are the uh, Pulp City figures. These are like really weird and like obscure. Like, okay, you see these. This is oh, what it's you. Oh, a freaking gladiator! Yeah, this bro. is what you. These are the ones that I really like because they're already pre-built. Nothing's like seems broken oh, off. The gunslinger. His hand, his hand is broken off. The gunslinger. Yeah, like all these are like really interesting figures that are cool and, and they're like all big. There's, and they're they're all like, like these the are robot, big, but his head's gone. And they're like period based stuff, and it's like so it's a gladiator versus a nineteen like a nineteen sixties gangster. Nineteen uh, sixties no, gangster gorilla. Gorilla. Oh, that's so that's that more like eighties, nineties. That's what this is. Yeah, this is a gorilla. It's not Bigfoot. It looks like Bigfoot though. It does. Like, look at like, like, brown. This you is see this guy holding the tongue, and you just kind of put the like, hat over. His like thing? these really tiny ones, they're cool. But you, it's like, it's almost like they have serif. Like this. Like they just have metal bits kind of hanging so off them a little bit. So what's in the other one? Is it just the same thing? This uh, figure, you know, like this it's little mostly demon guy. the same type of thing. What this demon guy is pretty cool. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I can't get him in a stand though because his oh, thing just don't fit. What? All their arms stands. and legs and stuffs. Some dude had a minigun. Oh yeah, th th uh, those are the add-ons to the, each of these. Which that's what I like about these. These seem to be complete sets, whereas the stuff that I found in the Hell Dorado ones, it's just like... Are more customizable, but they just don't seem... And it's just good. like, this seems like you would get bits of these and just put them together. Yeah. Thorhammer. Thorhammer? <laughs> Mjolnir? Say it. Say Mjolnir. 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 No, you can't. Huh? You guys suck. <laughs> okay. Before we go on to completely different subject, I want to bring him back to the, what started off all these oh, conversations. Freaking... Okay, Lucas, you said about like what you like about Mexican like food trucks and stuff like that. They just have stuff on the grill. Oh my gosh, it just adds <laughs> flavor. Yeah, in in one of those uh, ghetto videos that I was talking about, um, they're like you know you're Mexican, but like I feel like it's more ghetto thing. Like I live in the ghetto, and like my family does this, and so does my grandmother. I don't know what it is about it, but whatever. They said you know you're Mexican if you keep all your pots and pans in the oven. <laughs> okay, I keep. That's we don't keep true. our pots and pans. It's good storage. It really is good storage, especially if, like we don't use our oven that much. Yeah. So that made me laugh. And then he pulls out a pan. He's like with recycled oil. He's like, dude, it's fine. It's all these like just like chilaquiles and tamales and <laughs> and enchiladas. Like all these different flavors mixed into one. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I've seen that. I think. And that, that made me laugh because I'm like, that's pretty funny. That, and, but uh, that's truly how it is. It's just like you cook shit, and then it's just like. Why wash the pan if I'm gonna cook something like, right away? It's like, oh, here I made bake. Oh, like, oh yeah, I made pancakes. Uh, hey. I'm just gonna put the bacon I in that. There. Huh? Yeah, I, I think. Yeah. It goes there too. I'm it, actually thinking about that, keeping a lot of these. Huh? No, that's uh to the Hell Dorado stuff. Hell Dorado. Yeah. And uh, the thing we were originally gonna talk about when we started talking about his. <laughs> oh, hey, sorry. My cousin's something just cooler. Spanish than what project. Do. Yeah. Um, Wait, we were Spanish? talking about, uh, this, Spanish, this is what I was talking about, how, like, I'm like, well, it would be cool if you guys would edit it sometimes, and, like, it's kind of frustrating when I'm the only one editing it. This is the situation I ran into with my cousin. So, they needed a, a video project for their Spanish heritage class. Yeah. Um, so he showed up at my house one day, he came into my room, he's like, dude, you have to help me make a video for my Spanish class, I already told Spanish. all my friends, for my Spanish class, I already told all my friends you were gonna do it, so let's go. I'm like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> you were, you're just not even gonna ask me, you just told everyone I was gonna do it, so now I just kind of... Feel yeah, like I have you to. kinda have to. So I took all my <laughs> stuff, like camera, tripod, all that stuff, and I went out to help his friends or whatever. And like the first night we were over there and like I edited it and like he was there and one of his friends was there and we were just kinda putting it together. And at the end we're like, Oh yeah, this is pretty funny. So I uploaded it to YouTube. I uploaded it to <laughs> it just doesn't have an ad. What do you you uploaded it to YouTube? I uploaded it to YouTube, I'm like, there you go. Yeah, and then like the next day, it was like late at night, and then my cousin called me because my friend Daniel was there and we're like Dude, are you coming or not? Because he told us he was on his way. Because we wanted to hang out. He's like, oh, yeah. Um, can you guys come and pick me up? And then we're like, where are you? And he's like, I'm at, I'm at Andy's Alligators. And we're like, no, we don't feel like picking you up. And he's like, oh. Anyway, that's not what I called for. I called to tell you that uh, my teacher wants you to put in English subtitles and uh, change the music and change the title and do all this other stuff. And it pissed me off because, like, Everyone else who's supposed to get a grade for the project hasn't done anything other than be in the video, and then the their fate the their fate of their grade just rested entirely on me. Yeah, and I kind of felt like, you know, what if I just fucked them over? No, I what I did like eventually like it took me about two days, and I'm like I'm just gonna do it. But what I did is um 
right before the credits, I had edited like a split second of like a, a, a disturbing picture. Yeah. And I gave it to him. He's like, there you go. And then like about a week later, he came over to my house. He's like, dude, so like, what up with the fucked up picture in the video? They're not fans. They're not fans? Oh, they're... Wings. Sort or of. Dude. Oh, so it basically is... Oh, so they tell you the parts that go with each yeah, one. Yeah, they tell, they tell you the parts that go with each one. But like, again, I didn't get two of this guy. It's just kind of like, you know. Cheng Xiao Chen? Cheng Xiao Chen? It's the same Wait, color. Wait, why are they different colors? Because uh, this is like different than... than oh, wait, is like, this a character card and that's... Oh, I, I'm not sure exactly. That that's cool. cool. Yeah. Those are my two points that I wanted to make. All right. Which okay, kinda, no, okay. My which sad annoys me about our show sometimes. We'll go on these long and conversations. And then we'll be like, by the way, this point that we brought up like 30 minutes ago. And then you come back to it and it's just like, I just wanted to say like a one minute thing. It wasn't even like that long. Yeah. <laughs> okay, like the thing I wanted to say about like the, uh, the flea market... The old Paris flea market. Just I like, went back to that place that, recently. That one flea Dude, market. Oh my gosh. I went back to that amazing. place recently and I kind of went like around the edges of the building. And I ended up in this one place that was like kind of like, it was like, imagine all the garage sales in the world just came together. Dude, yeah. I fucking love garage okay, sales. I do too. Garage sales are like, those, you, you can just grab, you have cash, you just go. And it's like, holy crap, I found something blast from the past, right? I, you buy it and it's... For, for instance, I'm going to put up the picture. Um... Tyler bought me an electric typewriter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> which then me and my friend fixed. Yeah. Like, and here's a picture of us. We're so G. Yeah, we're, you, you guys are so no, G. No, I'm seriously, like, way too easy to picture. No, I've seen it. Oh, you have? Okay, yeah. Good. I haven't seen it. All right, so, like, Show me after to your touch G, yeah, whatever. So, like. What so, happened to me, like, explain? What? This just happens. Okay. Hang on, hang on, we can. Yeah, we'll get back to it. Well, this always happens. Um, so. Yeah, you just go and get something. And usually, like, whenever I buy something at a garage sale, it's something that I end up using, like, a lot. Like, more than I would just a product from, like, Walmart or something. I just find something. Like, like that. De- I bought that desk, that glass desk in my room. Mm-hmm. Bought that at a garage sale. Ten bucks. And then that thing that's next to it. Typewriter. Ten bucks. Yeah. That thing that's next to it that's on wheels and, like, it's a like a lift-up filing chest. Bought that for, like, six bucks at the same garage sale. I found... A bunch of VHSs. I, for a moment, right before I started getting movies on DVD, for some reason I started like, getting into like, oh, I haven't seen this movie, or I love this movie, let me get it on VHS. <laughs> right? I don't know why. So the first things I started that off was uh, Blade, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I still have, the, I still have those VHSs under my desk. Grudges are fun. No. But, no? Okay, you see all this text, right? Yes. This is the... Quote unquote, quick start rules sheet. No. 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 That's why I can't get into like board games like this. Okay, we're gonna have to I, upload I, a picture I, of this. I struggle with magic, for God's sakes. Magic's fun. I really think if you like, got into lots magic. Of my, lots of my friends play magic, and I'm seem, I seem to be the only one that's like, oh, I don't play. And they're like, oh, let me try to teach you. And I kind of, I try to sort of get Man, it. And I I'm don't. like, and then I try to play, but they're like, okay, now do it by yourself. And I'm like, I'm like <laughs> and this they're like, no. And I'm like, I don't want to play this play. Dave, yeah, you're not alone. All right. I don't even know how to play either. Yeah. Well, we were talking about the uh, old Paris flea market. Yeah, the there's old Paris flea there's, market. There was a store in the corner that was like a bunch of, like, met all the garage sales in the world come together. I was walking around and, like, uh, I was walking around and, like, um, see, now I probably would have bought some keyboards. I have a keyboard. Huh? Yeah? Like, okay, now. But, like, like keyboards really... as in, like, musical keyboards? Yeah. Okay. Hey, man. Like, okay, this is really specific because I recently, not recently, but, like, maybe a month ago or so, I, I, I bought a Melodica off of Amazon. Melodica. And I really like it, and, like, I really want to start playing keyboards or, like, learn how to because I hey, still man. struggle with, like, playing two different things at hey, once. If you, if you need a keyboard to practice on, I have a keyboard at my house. I, I, will, I will steal it. So, and, like, there's a lot of cool keyboards. There was, like... Little little tiny ones and then like really big ones and there was like I, I saw a Casio VL a Tone One VL VL One a Casio Tone VL One. So basically, like under it's, this, early. it's this crappy '80s keyboard. It's like really crappy, but I like I find it fascinating. I just kind of wish I would have bought one of those. What I that's great. What I bought instead, I was looking around. They had like a bunch of toys in these buckets. Soul yeah. Carrier. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. There was a bunch of these uh, toys in these buckets, and I was like kind of just looking through them. And they had a bunch of vintage Star Wars toys, like the Kenner ones. From Dude, 77. I love vintage Star Wars toys. So I bought, I bought Ben Kenobi. I bought Ben. Oh, and Ben? Like, yep. And I'm like, it came with the little vinyl cape and the little pop-out lightsaber. And like, if you guys know what vintage Star Wars toys look like, like that's, you know, the pop-out lightsaber. They're pretty. The vinyl capes. 
quote unquote capes. They're just like a sheet with holes, and he's just it, gonna. It's like the Lego capes. Wait, do you, do you mean yeah? Do you mean how you like the one they had to, uh, you literally had to hold down the button and just no slip it out. What? No, 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 no. no. That, that, that's a little, like the, a little middle figure. We're not talking about like the oh. like the real life hand or like large lightsabers that you like flick out. No, we're not talking about that. Oh, we're oh, talking oh, about. Okay. In, uh, back like, okay in seventy seven well oh, more okay. seventy eight because they didn't have any in seventy seven in seventy seven but in seventy eight like the little Star Wars figurines they had um like Luke had a uh, a yellow lightsaber for some goddamn reason um but like they Disgrace. like their this arm like their arms they had very limited articulation but like their right arm had like sculpted into it and was like a little hilt and a hole and there was like a little like handle thing on the back of their arm like under their arms at the very back and you'd slide that down. And like a little light table would come up, and that would be the little light table. Okay, I just realized these aren't random at all. I got every single character on this box, and so you're just an asshole. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, I got every single character that's on this box, and like a dragon. No, no, no. The dragon goes to this guy. Oh, really? No. Yeah, it goes to this guy. Look. Okay, you see that mm-hmm. attachment point right there? Boom. That's where the head goes, um, and you see I it see curves it. around here. I see it now. And then coming out of... That's probably why there's not a full dragon. <laughs> coming out of this insertion point goes the long bit. I don't know where that went. Yeah, I don't know where the long bit went. But uh, the long bit... There it is. It comes out of here and like that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And we then... Just built a dragon. Connecting onto the end of that, it looks like... Tail? It looks like that goes into... The cloud? A... Cloud Han, where is this? There's like a scroll. Here it is. Here it is. Uncovering the mystery. Yep. What the fuck is? Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about with the serifs thing. Like, it looks like there's a staple hanging off of this thing, and it's just bits of metal that aren't necessary, and they just come out like that. So, like, um, yeah. This connects right, where's his hand? Right there, like that. And then that's the dragon's tail and it's on fire. That is cool. Okay, yeah, that's cool. That's boss of shit. So, I think I'm going to end up keeping a lot of these characters. To just build them? Yeah, just build them up. keep, keep them. I mean, they cool. look cool. Yeah, and then once I uh, learn to paint them, you know, that'll be cool. Yeah. Okay, back to the old pair of market. Right. Um, I had, so, yeah, that I kind of inspired me. Like, I feel like I really need to, like, okay, so... On my YouTube channel, I do this thing, Star Wars Hall Toy Reviews, which I still find like Okay, really say that slower. Star Wars Hall Toy Reviews. Yeah. So if I get anything toy Star Wars related, I will review it. And like, I haven't done one in a long time just because I just haven't gone around to them and I haven't collected as much as I used to. But like, it's always a fun show to just like show off this like, hey, I, got, I went to a flea market and I got this weird toy from a character no one cares about from 1998. And, like, it's always fun. And, like, I got I bought that Obi-Wan figure, and now, like, I feel, like, obligated to review some more stuff. Yeah. Because I do have more stuff that I bought, and I just haven't gone around to reviewing them. And, like, that's always fun. That's Those are my most popular videos. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I understand, too, because, like, the whole, like, toy community, that's pretty big. Yeah, it is pretty big. I, I remember um, there's these two guys who do Transformers. One doesn't do exclusively Transformers, and one kind of does. Um... They're, I think they were the first few people I subscribed to on YouTube, oddly enough. Hmm. Um, this dude called JT Mitchell 87 who still does toy reviews now, and he's really entertaining. He's really funny. Um, and this dude called Optibotomus. And um, Optibotomus was talking about how, like, someone asked him, like, oh, I'm, I'm thinking of starting up my... This was, like, in 2010. I'm thinking of starting up, like, a Transformers movie review channel, or toy review channel like you guys. Do you think that's a good idea? He's like, I don't want to be, like, an asshole, but no, that's a terrible idea. Because YouTube started in 2006... And then the first Transformer live-action movie came out in 2007. And that's when I decided to, like, make reviews about the toys. And I found out there was a lot of other people. And those guys are all my friends. But now, like, the YouTube is so saturated with all that stuff. There's, seem, there's no point in you making one. Like, you wasting your time to make one. Because I feel like nobody would, and care. not to be an asshole, care about your opinion when there's already hundreds more. Yeah. And, like, that's that's kind of the thing that deters me from becoming, like, a YouTuber is because, like, I want to be on YouTube so bad, but, like, it's so hard for new YouTubers to become big. And like, like, or even just, like, view- YouTubers are on the main page. Like, oh, hey, or even, you should subscribe. Not even necessarily, person. like, big, but just, like, even popular in your own community. Like, 
I don't know if I am now anymore, but like for a while I was like pretty popular in the Star Wars toy review like community. A little bit, yeah. Like I was like people from that community actually watch my stuff. Yeah. And now like I still have like enough subscribers where I think if I started up again, like I could probably like What's cool about you is you like you are into such like niche or niche. I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it, it. niche? It's like it's it's either niche, niche or niche and pe I've, I've heard it described. I've heard it pronounced. I've heard it both ways. I've heard it both ways. What is that from? I can't remember what I've heard it both ways? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I think it's from... I like that line. Psych. Or psych. Maybe. I'm not Go? sure. Go? No. Go's <laughs> a good movie. Oh, it might be Eureka. I don't know. But, um... So, like... It's just like, uh... What was I even saying? How... Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. The thing about you is, you like such niche things... That, I'm just going to go with niche. You like such niche things that, like, you can post something somewhere and, like, the people who like that, like, latch on to it. Like, with you on iFunny, you post, like, I'm going to be honest, you post pothead shit. I do. And, and, like, people, like, in the comments, like, of, like people I've, I don't necessarily consider, like, true friends, but, like, people, like, I talk to a lot now. Yeah. And, like, just, uh, they're, like, funny. yeah, and they're, like, they're, like, oh, you, so you're, like, a stoner, like, you do drugs or mushrooms or whatever. I'm, like. I'm not much of a stoner. I've just, like, since I was a little kid, I really like psychedelic stuff. Psychedelic stuff is cool. Yeah. And, like, I just, like, there's a lot of stoners on iFunny that like my stuff. And they're like, oh, a fellow stoner. And I'm like, eh, not really. You're you're also pretty, uh... I, I like the culture. Like, the stoner culture is pretty fascinating yeah, to me. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Like, hey, there's a... 420, bro. <laughs> Easter's no, on 420 this year. By the way, we're, film, we're recording this on the 18th, two days before 420. Yeah, and it's... 420 is Easter. Which I'm planning on not uploading a damn psychedelic thing on iFunny. I'm planning on maybe, like, putting up... Um, like, I don't know, pictures of, like, the park. <laughs> that's and, weird. Yeah, I'm not posting anything psychedelic on 420, just as a fuck you. All right. Not, not a, I feel like I'm a, if I had a fan base, like, if I did something and I would start a fan base, I wouldn't want to tell them, like, I hate my fans, but I would, I would fuck with my fans a lot. See, that's, if I had fans of, like, if I was a musician, I, I'd do something to mess with them. Not to, like, yeah. say fuck you, but, like, just to mess you with them. You know, it's, them. like, um, I kind of like this about Rooster Teeth, because, like, they call out the soup, the idiots on the internet, like... Because they'll be, like, playing a game or something. And I feel be... weird calling one of my fans an idiot, but he was an idiot. Yeah. No, no, no. It's like, it's like, um, they'll, they'll be talking, like, they'll bring up something, like, that a fan said, and it's just, like, because this and this, you fucking idiot. And, like, it's something that's common sense. Like, you shouldn't be asking that, you idiot. Like, seriously. And then, like, they'll, they'll bring it up, and it's just, like, well, you probably shouldn't call one of our fans an idiot. And it's, like, no, fuck that guy. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know him. Like, yeah, no, yeah, it's for real. It's just, like, no, fuck that guy. Like, you know? 